<sighs> so it's finally here, man. A long awaited video. Y'all been asking about this video for quite some time now. And I finally got the strength to do it for y'all. I ain't got everything with me. And I know every time I do a collection video, I never have everything with me. I always tell y'all this. I don't keep everything in one spot, but I do have some with me. So I'm going to show y'all what I do have with me. And I got a couple of others that, you know, I got elsewhere. And then some that I had that y'all seen previously, I sold them. Like I said, sitting somewhere else. But I'm going to go ahead and just show y'all what I have with me right now. So y'all, buckle up. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and bear with me because... uh. I'm gonna try to go. I ain't, I ain't gonna get too far in depth on these. Some of these. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie to you. But first and foremost, everything in this room is clear. Nothing is in the chamber. You know what I'm saying? Everything has been empty. I ain't even no ammunition, even anywhere close around. But I need me some super juice for this one. Yes, so let me take a swig real quick. Let's get this party started. Before I even pick up anything, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Butter Rugs, man. Y'all go check my boy Butter Rugs out. Let that focus so y'all can get his information on. Butter Rugs. Y'all go check out my boy Butter Rugs. He do some nice, awesome, cool custom rugs. If you need your custom rug, you want to... Any type of rug you, you need or you... You, you know what I'm saying? You, any, any ideas you have as far as a custom rug, y'all make sure y'all hit my boy Butter Rugs up, man. And let them know real Rambo Jizzle sent you. I'm not going to do this in any particular order. I'm going to just pick them up, talk about it a little bit, go to the next one. Because I ain't trying to drag this video out. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to give y'all no two hour long video. I'm just going to pick it up, show it, say a little thing about it, and then bam, next one. Alright, so first, show y'all that every gun is clear. Nothing in the mag, nothing in the chamber, safe direction. But this is... The Glock 48, that first 48 thing, you know what I'm saying? Focus on that. This is the Glock 48 Gen 5. As y'all can see, this slim trim like a bicycle rim. This gun, I really don't shoot much. As y'all may know, I don't shoot this gun much at all. Um, but yeah, I, I don't shoot this gun that much at all. Uh, I'm not going to say the gun don't have a place, but uh, I just don't shoot it that much at all. I got the 43X, so the 43X, how rude of these people. But the 43X replaced the Glock 48 for me, so that's why you don't see it that much. Next, don't even have a mag in it, nothing in the chamber. Yes, this is the 43X. Y'all see that 43X, man. That is my 43X. That is my EDC currently at the moment. A little warm outside here in Texas, so I like to carry something a little bit small. So I roll with the 43X. And also, it's got the whole grip on it. Now, if y'all know, I got this one from my boy Chris TV, by the way, who just hit 100K. Take a sip to that. Take a sip to my boy Chris TV for hitting 100K. Ooh, super juice do it every time. But this is the Glock 43X, the perfect EDC outside of the, the X macro. But this is the perfect EDC on the Glock lineup. 43X. If you ain't got one, go get you one. Next, show y'all that that's clear. Nothing in the mag, nothing in the chamber, safe direction. Next, we have the MP Shield EZ380. Now, I bought this gun right before COVID. And the only reason I honestly bought this gun is it, it looked different. You know what I'm saying? It looked good. It looked cool. And uh, just the thought of it being easy to rack. You know what I'm saying? Thought of it being easy to rack. It was something that I was like, man, that's kind of cool. It's different. Why not get it? So that's the whole reason why I got this one. I know it's a 380. A lot of people don't like 380. But hey, I wouldn't want to get hit with no 380. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't. But that is a Smith & Wesson Shield. Easy. Chambered in 380. Eight. Next, um, this gun, I don't know why I haven't, well, I know why I haven't got rid of it, but this is the first gun I have ever purchased, and that's honestly why I'm not ever going to get rid of it, but show y'all there's nothing in the mag, nothing in the chamber, got to put the mag in, safe direction, but this is the Bursa Thunder 380, a lot of y'all ask me, 
What is the first gun you ever bought? First gun I ever bought is this one right here, and this is that James Bond special. I don't know why. It's not really the one off of James Bond, but it do look like something off of James Bond. This is the Bur Bursa Thunder 380. Love this little gun. It got a lot of safety features on it. I guess that's why I really like it. It came with different grips. I like this one because obviously you get a better grip with the finger grips and grooves in there. But it also came with some, some hard plastic ones that didn't have the, the finger cutouts. But uh, yeah, this is the Bursa Thunder 380. First gun I ever bought. Love it. We got one of the most, if not the most, hated gun by GHG Hustle. I don't know why he hates this gun, because he got one. It, it, the man is just so confusing to me. But this is, show you that it's clear, nothing in the mag, nothing in the chamber. This is the Glock 26. Yes, the Glock 26, chambered in 9mm. Hollow, if you want to meet it. But this is the Glock 26, that little bit is short, stocky like Rocky. You know what I'm saying? This is the Glock 26 Gen 4. Um, this, some people say it's better than the 43X. I personally, I don't think it's better than the 43X just because she's thick. Now, ain't nothing wrong with being a little thick now. So, if you look thick, there ain't nothing wrong with being a little thick. But, when I'm, I'm you know, trying to conceal something, I don't want nothing too big. You know what I'm saying? On my body that I'm... Whatever. But this is the Glock 26. Chambered in 9mm. Y'all know about the 26. Not gonna go over the specs. On to the next. So next. Show y'all that it's clear. No mag in there. Nothing in the chamber. Safe direction. This is the Glock 4 Nickel. Now if... I know some of y'all might not know about the 4 Nickel. The Glock 45, and I'm not talking about chambered in 45, it's chambered in 9mm. Holla if you want a meter. But this is the Glock 45, man. This is arguably one of the most underrated Glocks, in my opinion. This is one of the most underrated Glocks because it, it gets slept on because of the 19, and the 19X just kind of, you know, shadows it out. 19X, more to say. But this is the Glock 45, if that will focus, Gen 5, chambered in 9mm. As y'all can see, it got those upgraded sights on it. But yeah, this is the Glock 45, chambered in 9mm. Perfect gun. Perfect gun. You can EDC this. You can also take this to the range. This is a nice, sweet gun. Time for some super juice. Ah. So next, we have... My all-time favorite. This has to be probably the best gun that I think is in my collection, in my opinion. But, as you can already tell by that mag, y'all know what this is. Nothing in the magazine. Nothing in the chain bag. Oh, um, this is my 1911 all-gold everything, but And I ain't talking about uh, uh, Trinidad James. But this is the Rambo J Special. She, she, she's a little dirty, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't sit up and spit shine my guns like L Hustle do, you know, it, it's a gun that's meant to get fingerprints, I, I toss mine around, it's, it gets worn, but this is, trying to get that thing to focus, y'all see that Rambo J on her, this is my 1911 chambered in, not 45, not 38 super, 9 millimeter, y'all see the tree in here, holla! If you want to meet it, but this is my 1911 chambered in 9 millimeter all gold everything and as you can see I don't know if y'all can see it but it is getting a little worn because I use and shoot my guns I use and abuse all my guns gold or not I'm gonna shoot it and I'm gonna use it but yeah that, that's by far one of my favorites and probably one that I spend a lot of money on next we have we're gonna go to a wheel gun nothing in it y'all see that is empty but this is my Rock Island 357 Magnum. This is, I believe, a two inch version. But this is a pocket rocket. This is the one that you throw up in that truck. You know what I'm saying? You, you load that thing up either with some 30, 357 Magnums or some 38 Specialers, which I prefer the 38 Specialers because them 357 Magnums, let me tell you, brother, $50 a box. I'd much rather get 38 Specialers because it'll still get you up off me. But you load this thing up with one of those two rounds, throw it in the truck, pop, pop, 
pop, and the shell stay with you. But this is Rock Island 357 Magnum 38 Special. Next, we have a gun that a lot of y'all ask me about. Where's that green gun? Where's that, that Hulk looking gun? Where's the green booger? Well, this gun, this is a gun don't really like that much. I just, I don't know. It was an impulse buy, honestly. Um, I used to make a lot of impulse buys. Not even going to sit here and lie to you. But this was one of those impulse buys. And the Cerakote job, it was also an impulse buy. That was, this is my first time getting into Cerakote. So I went and Cerakoted it. And I'm not going to say I regret it, but I would never get it again. I would never get this gun again. But nothing in the chamber. It is clear safe direction. This is the XD9. This is the XDS9. Um, chambered in 9mm. Hollow if you want to meet them. But this is the Green Goblin, Green Booger, whatever you want to call it. But it got that battle worn green finish on it. I don't really care for this gun that much. This is this gun is pretty much brand new. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I probably shot this gun every bit of maybe six or seven times. Maybe. Maybe. But this is the XDS 9mm. So for you XD boys is out there, why don't you have an XD? I got an XD, just don't shoot it. Here it is. Next, we have one of the guns that I shoot the absolute most. And I'm pretty sure y'all know what this is. I'm sure y'all it ain't nothing in there. Safe direction nothing in it this is the walter ppp loan baby this is the walter ppp loan aka walter pdp pro don't get it confused this is the pro version this is my walter ppp loan baby so y'all done seen this gun many a times i done went through there i talked about this gun so many times even got reviews on this gun if you haven't seen a review make sure you go through the videos find it check it out let me know what you think but this is the walter pdp pro with the pmm comp on there trigicon rmr on there and and, and and the walter's notorious you know what i'm saying trigger let me show y'all that boom the Walter PDP Pro, man. I can't say too much about this gun. Y'all already know about it. PDP Pro, baby. The PPP loan. This next gun I'm going to show y'all. Uh, it's mine, but it ain't mine, but it's like mine. I done stole it from him. I ain't going to lie to y'all. This is, uh, show y'all that it ain't nothing in the chain bag. Empty. If you want your gun back, you're going to have to come fight me for it, big dog. But this is GHG Hustles. Glock, what is this? Glock 22 chambered in 40 caliber. And let me tell you, this boy nice, man. The man do some nice custom work with his guns. I can't even sit here and hold y'all, bro. He do some nice good stuff on her. Y'all see he got that Gucci snake on her, man. Y'all see that Gucci snake on her? Boy, this the ride of David, man. This thing nice. Y'all see that? Then he got the little G's all in there. Laser engraved off and of this thing is nice. Not my gun, but it was here, so you had to get added to the, the collection, sir. You had to get added. But this is GHG's Glock 22, chambered in 40 cal. Time for some super juice. Mm. Here, if y'all ain't got nothing, go and get you some of that. Ah. And the last pistol that I'm gonna show y'all, well, yeah, the last pistol that I'm gonna show y'all is. Show y'all that there's nothing in it. And you can probably already tell from the mag what this is. Show y'all that there's nothing in it. Ooh, that sound real clunky, blunky, and blocky. If you guessed it, yes, it is the high point. 10 millimeter, baby. This is... The company speaks for itself. I'm going to just say that. Everybody hate on high points, and I'm not going to lie, this is pretty heavy. My arm is kind of like shaking and tip drilling because it is a heavy gun. But this is one of the most hated guns in the world, and I don't know why. Well, I know why, because it's ugly. Look at this. It's ugly. Y'all see high point got that threaded barrel on there. This is the new 10 millimeter version. But, um, yeah, this is one of the most hated guns in the world, and I don't know why. They, they work. You, you can hate on them all you want to, but they do work. The high point JXP 10 millimeter. Don't 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 holler for this one. This this is yeah. 
we gonna move on. This next one that I'm gonna show y'all, it's a gun, but it, okay, let me just kind of give y'all a little backstory on it. Um, a little while ago, some years ago, Knucklehead broke in the house, took a bunch of stuff that didn't belong to him, it belonged to Rambo Jizzle, took a bunch of guns, did whatever he did with them, right? Um, and I got some of them back. This was one of them, and I got it back in basically pieces, because this is not, and I do not approve of how this gun looked, but I just, I didn't even want to change it or do anything to it, simply because now it's kind of like a trophy, or it's kind of iconic to what happened to me, that, which is kind of crazy that I said it like that, but this is a Mossberg Pump 500. This is a Mossberg 500. Uh, yeah, it was a Mossberg 500, and let me make sure ain't no information on there, but uh, as you can see, see if that'll focus. As you can see, this thing was in fact in jail. It was, yeah, it was locked up in the storage room at the jail, but let me show y'all that it ain't nothing in this. It ain't nothing in there. Safe direction. But uh, yeah, this is a Mossberg pump pistol grip, supposed to be 500. Now, when I had this thing, I had a nice heat shield on here. I had a big old comp on the front. Man, this thing was nice and tricked out. But as you can see, somebody wanted to do something crazy with it. So they did this. And I just left it like this. I didn't have no reason to want to go buy everything else and put it back on there. But, and I didn't even take off the stickers. But that is a Mossberg 500 pistol grip pump. Um, the Rambo J Special. This is a Anderson's arm. Uh, pretty cheap AR, I'm not gonna lie. I think this thing, when I got it, was like $400. Very, very dumb, stupid, ridiculously cheap compared to the ARs nowadays. But let me show y'all that there's nothing in this. And I call it the Rambo J Special because I put a $8 rattle can job on this thing. And let me tell you, it is ugly. I am supposed to be uh, like freshening this thing up, but I just don't have the time to do it right now. When I get the time, I will make a video and show y'all that. But this is the Anderson's Arm AR-15 Chambered in 223-556. Y'all seen me make a video on this thing. I showed y'all how I be painting my rifles and this is one of them. And it, I got a cheap little Ronin red dot on the top. Never had no issues with this thing. Never lost zero with this thing. I think this thing was maybe $50. They sent this to me like a year and a half ago and this thing still worked. Never changed the batteries. But this is the Anderson's Arm AR-15-223-556. So the next PCC I'm going to show y'all, I don't shoot this gun at all. I really don't. I think the last time I shot this gun was like years ago. Uh, don't really care for this gun at all. Uh, yeah, it was another impulse buy. It looked good, but it didn't look good. It was just something that I got, maybe for content at the time. But this is, show y'all that it's empty, nothing in a safe direction. This is the Ruger PC Charger. Um, a lot of y'all like this gun, and I don't know why. Um, it is very ugly. You know what I'm saying? It is very ugly. Now, don't jump on me about these sights. I know they on our backwards, um... This screw is kind of stripped, but that's besides the point. This gun don't even get shot anymore. But this is the Ruger PC Charger. Don't like it. Hate the gun. Um, yeah, you'll probably never see this ever again. Ever. So this next gun is also another gun that I don't really care for. Don't really like it like that. It just looks good to the eye. But as far as shooting it, it's, it's not a bad shooting gun, but it's not a great shooting gun, if I can say that. Um, this was a well-known gun. It was talked about a whole lot, but mm, show y'all that there's nothing in it. Nothing in there. Safe direction. This is the Scorpion Evo 3. This is the Micro Scorpion. You all know about this gun. I think they have three different versions of it. They got the Micro, the Mini, and then they have the Rifle version. This is the smallest one you can get. Oh, uh, I got the SB Tactical on there. Uh, this gun was really overrated. So that's, you know, I don't really like it. it, it it's, it's nice looking. Uh, it shoot decent, but it's not better than some of the other PCCs that I own. But yeah, this is the CZ Scorpion Evo 3 chambered in 9mm.
So this next gun that I'm gonna show y'all, um, I actually got it from somebody. We made a trade, it trade. Uh, I got rid of my FM 509 Tactical for this gun. If you know, if you're OG to the, to the channel, you know me and GHG, we traded guns. And I got Flip Zilla. This is plum crazy, man. So this is uh, Jordan Craig, no, this is a Jordan Gray Custom. Um, I'm not too familiar with this pistol. It was just something that looked cool. I liked it. It looked nice. You see the color kind of flip. It changed from like a plum, red, or orange. It's a 9mm pistol that he got done. I don't know who did it for him, but he got it done. Got it customized, tricked out, and all that. He didn't like it, so he brought it over to me, and, you know, we made a little trade to trade. Chamber to 9mm. This is an ARP um, Jordan Gray Custom Special. If you know about these... You know these are very very expensive and also you got the little fun switch in there too all right so the last pcc i'm gonna show y'all i'm pretty sure y'all probably know what this is this is my favorite pcc of all time let me know down in the comment section what pcc this is the first person to let me know what pcc this is you're awesome but this is the Grand Power Strike Bog, my favorite PC of all, PCC of all time. I'm going to show y'all that it ain't nothing in it. The bolt is already locked back. Send it home, safe direction. But this is the Grand Power Strike Bog, chambered in 9mm. Holla if you want a meter. But this is the Grand Power Strike Bog. I can't say too many good things about this gun. Um, I got the PDW style brace on the back with the tail hook. You open it up. You know what I'm saying? You know how it works. Um, this thing is awesome. I got a Sig Romeo on top of there. Little cheap little red dot. It works. It ain't the, the, the most expensive, but like I said, it works. Um, never had any issues or hiccups with this gun. Wherever I put that dot or wherever I put these iron sights, it's gonna hit. And it's not gonna give you a big push like that because they got the roller blade i mean the roller delayed system in it this is the grand power strike bar chambered in nine millimeter all right man so the next gun the next batch of guns that i'm gonna show y'all is some long guns i'm tired of showing the small guns so let's get into some long guns this gun show y'all that that is empty nothing in the chamber safe direction so this is the PSA AK-47 with the custom paint job on it, straight from PSA. Um, y'all seen this gun a couple of times, y'all seen a video on this gun, and I bagged on PSA kind of bad for this gun. Simply because, you know, it has some little issues and some little flaws, but overall, let me just address the elephant in the room. Yes, the gun do work, it shoot, so... Y'all, you know, get up off PSA head about it. You know what I'm saying? I, I know I made a big deal, but it, it still works. It, the gun still shoots. So this is the PSA AK-47 under photo with the ALG Lightning Trigger. If you know about ALG triggers, you know them things is smooth booty. So the next gun I'm going to show, it's not really a gun, but it is a gun. Um, it's a little different, but this is the KWA LM4D, which I just did a video on. If you haven't seen it, make sure you go check that video out. This is a BB gun, man. Now, let me tell y'all, y'all that was in the comment section talking about, oh, you're doing BB gun content now. Listen, man, BB guns are good guns to train on, bro. If you don't want to use a lot of ammo or you don't want to go to the range or it's a bad weather day outside, you can train with a BB gun. So y'all quit capping. You can't tell me you wasn't a kid with a BB gun. You didn't think you was like John Wayne or something. You know what I'm saying? But BB guns are actually good guns to train with, bro. This is the KWA LM4D BB gun. So next is a gun that I actually, I don't think I ever shot it on the channel. No, I really have never shot this gun on the channel. channel. Um, it's a little older. Um, it's a replica. It's not the actual thing, because my money ain't that long, brother. Let me just first say that. But we'll show you that the magazine is empty. Nothing in it safe direction. This is my M1 
carbine chambered in 30 caliber and let me tell y'all the details on this gun is wow, delicioso let me show y'all that Iwo Jima World War II I believe yeah World War II engraving on that thing if she'll focus oh wait this is a M1 carbine. If you know about these, you know about these. Let me show you the engraving on the opposite side. Man, that thing is some move booty. You know what I'm saying? Got some little ships and tanks and all that there engraved on it. But this thing is a beauty. Chamber in 30 cal. Don't shoot this gun that much simply because it is very, very hard to find 30 caliber rounds down here. You can't really find them like that. And when you do find them, they be like an arm, leg, and a butt cheek. They be high as giraffe butt cheeks. But this is the M1 carbine, chamber name 30 camera. Next we have my favorite AR in my whole collection. This is my favorite long gun in my whole collection. If you guessed it, yes, it is my FN15. Show y'all that this thing is in fact clear, safe direction, boom. This is my cousin. My custom done by me. Yes, that little paint job was done by yours truly. FN15 chambered in 2235.56. Um, I did a lot of things to this gun. Got an O light there on top, got a little um a little hand thingy right there, uh pressure pad from O light, Hollison on top, 510C, got a Hollison magnifier. I mean no a Romeo and Juliet magnifier. Um, and I also got the fun switch in this. If you've seen me do videos on this gun, you know all about this gun. You know she's Acura, and you know she got that giggle switch in her. This is my FN15, done by me with a rattle can, AR15, chambered in 223556. And I gotta change my battery because my camera is about to die. Alright, man, so this video running kind of long, so I'm not gonna show everything else. I'm gonna just show two more guns, man, because my battery going dead. I charged it up a little bit, but my battery going dead, and the video also getting kind of long. Um, I might do a part two, because I got some more. Like I said, I got others elsewhere. I still just gotta get them and get them. You know, I gotta get them. But, uh, so this, make sure that it's clear. Nothing in it, boat locked back. Um, this is my Chris Victor rifle, chambered in 9mm. Y'all kind of see the trend here, right? This is the Chris Victor long rifle, well, rifle version, I mean. Chris Victor chambered in 9mm. If you know about the Chris Victor, you know these things are very iconic. That was on Call of Duty. Super, super duper nice, cool, futuristic looking gun. And also got it topped off with that Siley red dot on top. This is one of the most toughest, does that make sense? This is one of the toughest red dots I have ever bought. Well, I didn't even buy it. The dude sent it out to me. But this thing, as y'all see, it is on. I've been having this thing for about two years. Never had changed the batteries, never had issues with it. I banged this thing up, hit it with a rock. That's why it's all white and dirty looking. But never had issues with that red dot. Make sure y'all go check them out as well and let them know Rambo Jizzle sent you. But this is the Chris Vector, the long version. So the last gun that I'm gonna show y'all is a DMR. If you don't know what DMR mean, DMR stands for a designated marksman rifle. But this is, let me show y'all that it is nothing in there, nothing in the magazine, nothing in the chamber safe direction. This is my Zastava M76 and let me tell you, she is a big boy, you hear me. This is the Zastava M70 chambered in 30-06, a big boy round. We are knocking down doors, brother, and taking names with this big behemoth. But this is a clone of the Dragonoff. This is the American version of the Dragonoff. If you know what the Dragonoff is, you know what this gun is, well, what it is replicated after but this is a big nasty round coming out this thing and let me tell you she hits hard that's why y'all don't see my little wimpy tail shooting this gun that much because it hurts but this is my m76 by zastava chambered in 30 out six guess who done call 
I don't like him. I don't like him. He always interrupting. But we're going to turn this camera off and, and finish this conversation. Hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Hope y'all seen something that you did like. Let me know down in the comment section which gun out of my collection that I showed y'all that y'all like the most. And make sure y'all hit that like button. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that. It's free to do it. You ain't got to do nothing but press your finger. You know what I'm saying? But that's all I got for y'all. Until next time. And we out.